I missed you so much. Flo, six weeks, it's much too long to be separated from the one you love. Oh, I missed you more. No, I miss you more. Next time, take me on your trip or kill me. We're together now, my sweet sparrow. Again and always. <laughs> Look how long my arm is. <clears throat> the guest room smells weird. Aren't you gonna say hi, Edward? <laughs> Hello world, my name is Glasgow Dagmar, and I am the world's foremost future marine biologist and dolphin veterinarian. I'm so pumped to be spending my summer vacation with the bestest big sister in the world, the beautiful, bodacious, bootylicious Florence Dagmar, and her unemployed, domesticated, and delicate fiance, Edward Belfast. Florence is the most generous woman I know, even if she can't dress as well as her little sis. When she's not giving time and money to the most worthy causes and charities, she donates her time and love to her nearest and dearest. Edward, on the other hand, doesn't do much. Being an idle lump must wear on the brain. But hey, he loves Flo, and that's good enough for me, which means I love him by default. And my best friend! So it's Glasgow, Florence, and Edward, the mighty trio. The three of us love spending time together. They just can't get enough of me. And I know, I just know, that all they ever talk about is how cool it is to hang out with me. They miss me a whole lot when I go out and do my thing. But absence makes the heart grow fonder, like a planetarium show with no planets. I've got to live my life. No sacrifices, no matter how much they need me. It's sticking together. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, I think that might be posy, so I gotta chugga chugga choo choo. But don't worry, because I won't be back too late. She knows we like to have dinner together. Sayonara, senoritas. Wait, let's get. Yeah? Don't go yet. Well, okay, I'm gonna no, miss I you so to go, much. I have to go. Oh, I'm not gonna, gonna miss, miss you, you, but I'm gonna miss you. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Now don't worry. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, they're in. They're gone. Oh, I've oh, 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 oh. But wait, what if she comes back? She can't get in without these. <gasps> oh, Edward, I love you so much. Oh. That would make me feel the ocean of your ardor, the roiling waves of your passion that I've been so craving. Oh. Oh. Are you guys wrestling? It looks like fun! Ha! <laughs> I found this! I found it! Despite his inactivity and total lack of ambition, Edward will make a good house husband. He cooks, he knits, he tidies, he bathes! He's so very pure though. Sometimes I think he's not ready for a foxy lady like my big sis. But he's only human, right? I have this weird feeling that they're waiting until after they're married to, well, you know. I mean, I don't know what was going on before I came to stay, but I had this talk with Posey. Why does Edward look like that, Posey? Because he's not getting any. So weird. So majorly weird. I don't know what we're gonna do about this. <sighs> Take that train to Pound Town. Yeah. Uh. Quick, before she sees us. I know I'm going as fast as I can. How far have we gone? Uh, 46.8 miles. Let's go, pull over. Okay. Slow at last, how I long for you always! Did you hear that? What? What are you talking about? No, just love him. Help! We have to go help. No, please, please. Slow. I'm tied to a tree! Oh, thank golly you found me! 
Oh, <laughs> I guess it was free the whole time. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm okay, Edward. The thing about Edward is, sometimes I think he's kind of nuts. I think he might just need a friend, so I try to include him at all times. But either he's way shy or he's just a wackadoodle because I have combo skills to the max that I don't know how he resists. That was such a good stop. <clears throat> Full and complete. Yeah. It's like a California roll. I love sushi. Can we get sushi? Nope. I don't know how I feel about fishing because I'm a marine biologist. Oh, claims he's not crazy. She thinks he just has an active imagination, but I don't know. Posey says Flo is right, and Edward only acts really crazy when he's stressed out. Posey is so wise. She really likes conversing with me. She thinks I'm the greatest. I think she's right. I just can't imagine what my life would be like without Flo and Ed. But since Posey's wife, Lilac, prettiest woman in the world, just left for Denmark on a special newspaper business trip, Posey says she wants to spend more time with me. She invited me to a party with her architecture firm, Pals and Buddies. I asked her if Flo and Ed could come too, but apparently this party is way too exclusive. My future marine biology and dolphin veterinarian qualifications must have gotten me in. I'm so cool. Edward, I've got you covered. I can't show you what happened at the party, but let's just say I wasn't around much the next few days. However, like a penguin or a wheelbarrow, I always return home to my fam fam damnly. Hey guys, it's me. I hope you didn't miss me way too much. I want you to meet my new boyfriend, Hank. Hey guys, I'm Hank. I'm Posey's secretary. Glass Get says you guys are the bestest ever. Hank and I are in love. I'm so happy for you guys. I guess you're gonna need some alone time. Uh, no way. We're gonna wanna go on double dates all the time. Wah, wah. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna go do it, prude losers. Yeah! Yeah! Sorry, Florence and Edward. You're gonna have to fix your own problems. It's time for Glasgow Dagmar to go live her own life. The end! <laughs>